Welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings, where I do readings for celebrities and celebrities only. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys are into that. So, I wanted to do a reading on Chili and Matthew Lawrence. These two have just announced that they are dating exclusively. And I believe they have, um, from what they've said, they've been allegedly dating since Thanksgiving. And of course, everything here is alleged because, of course, we're dealing with public figures. And it's important to remember that tarot is for entertainment purposes only. I also have a reading on him and Cheryl Burke. These two were married from 2019 until she filed for divorce in February of 2022. So, um, she is citing irreconcilable differences and alleges that he was unfaithful in the marriage, okay? So, Chile is a Pisces, Matthew is an Aquarius. I'll get more into their birth chart as I go along. So, let's go ahead and see uh, what comes through. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages for Chili and Matthew Lawrence. How does Matthew feel about Chili? How does Chili feel about Matthew? Give me the most detailed and accurate messages. Yow. Wow. Okay, I think this is the same card that came through for... Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, if you guys are interested in checking out that reading I did about three months ago on them, but same card, all right? These two have emotional fulfillment with each other, okay? Um, with the Nine of Cups, this is about feeling satisfied, living a good life, having emotional stability, and I'm not surprised that this came out because, again, Chili is a Pisces sun, but she's also a Pisces, she has a Pisces and Mercury, and Matthew has his Pisces and Mercury, okay? So I do feel like for them, this relationship kind of feels almost like a dream state. But the only thing, you know, I'm going to see what else comes through in the reading. The only thing that I'm fearful of, as I always mention, sometimes with Pisces, they tend to live in a dreamlike state. They can be escapist, okay? And sometimes they'll put certain people on a pedestal they may not deserve to be there. So we'll see what other messages come through. But so far, so good. This is going to be chilly side. And this is going to be Matthew's side. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the emperor in the reverse. I told y'all I was going to wait a minute <laughs> before I finish this, okay? Because when you get the emperor in the reverse coming out, this is a major arcana in the reverse, indicates that there could be some type of um, like control issues here. All right. Also with the emperor in the reverse, that has to do with somebody trying to maybe possibly dominate the other causing chaos. Okay. And if this is not the case, it could be somebody trying to cause chaos in their life. Okay. So, all right. Over here on Chile side, you have the seven of cups, the seven of pentacles, angel number seven, seven, maybe, um, important for her. Also angel numbers three, three, could be important for her as well because she has three of pentacles in the reverse, three of cups in the reverse, and eight of wands. Um, Chili, <laughs> allegedly, were you involved with Matthew while he was, well, so um, how long before the two of you all establish anything sexually? Because this is a lot of third party energy going on here. Look at this. Look at the three of cups in the reverse and the three of pentacles in the reverse. I'm just saying, okay, allegedly these two, I don't know how long this may have been going on. They claimed that they were friends and finally solidified. Who child? I told y'all, sometimes with that seven of cups, that can indicate illusions. Okay. All right. Also, the seven of cups indicates searching for your purpose, making choices in your life and daydreaming. I'm telling you next to it. You also have the seven of pentacles. This is hard work, perseverance and diligence. Okay. Now you also have here the eight of wands. This is like rapid movement, making a quick decision. Okay. And I feel like this is what's happened in regards to this situation here. We're going to make this quick decision to um, be with each other. But I do feel like for her, let me tell you, when you get the seven of cups, that's somebody that's like in the energy of like, should I, shouldn't I, what about this option? What about that option? I don't know. She could still be stuck in this mindset. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Matthew's side. You have Eight of Swords, Justice in the Reverse. You also have the Four of Cups. Yeah, he's definitely going through a divorce, okay, with the Justice in the Reverse. Now, keep in mind with this Major Arcana here, Justice card in the Reverse can also indicate dishonesty, not taking accountability for a situation, or maybe possibly feeling like he's been treated unfairly in a situation, okay? Um just in case she comes up in this reading, Cheryl is a Taurus son. So he may have been, you know, may have felt like he was treated unfairly in this marriage. Or there may be some things that Matthew may have been leaving out. Because you all know how this goes. When you are not, when you are entertaining somebody else before you have completed a situation in your life, sometimes what some people will do is they will stretch the truth. Okay. And they will say things like, yeah, you know, my wife was so this, or my husband was so that, and they've treated me so bad. I'm the victim here. Okay. With the justice card here in the reverse unfairness, I'm the victim here, but I'm going to see what else comes through. But what is it? Have you told the whole truth is what I'm getting here with Matthew. Have you told the whole truth, okay? Now, you also have four of cups here in the reverse, which has to do with choosing happiness, accepting a situation for what it is, and choosing to move on after being in a period of feeling disconnected, okay? So I do feel, just like the energy that came through in the last reading with him and Cheryl, that he was not happy in that marriage. Look how this man is sitting here, okay? He looks miserable, holding a bottle, okay? Y'all, shut the freaking door, in the other reading, I got the stint and rehab card that came out. Allegedly, I don't know if he has any issues with drinking or substance or whatever the case may be, but I'm just saying, all right? The Four of Cups is in the reverse. This is a person choosing happiness and accepting that, hey, a marriage has to end and I'm going to walk away from it, all right? But you also have the Eight of Swords. So this is him feeling like he's trapped in his head. But once again, y'all, we keep going back to this same energy, Okay? We're going back to the same energy again with this Eight of Swords next to this Justice card in the reverse. Keep in mind, Eight of Swords at times can indicate somebody playing the victim, okay? Because sometimes, <laughs> I'm hearing it in my head. It takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. So what Spirit is basically saying is that um, Cheryl is not just the problem that allegedly in this marriage he played his role as well, okay? I do feel, just like I felt in the last reading, there was a lot of toxicity between him and Cheryl, and it just imploded, okay? All right, so you also have here the temperance card. So let me tell you, if his life had been imbalanced at one point, I do feel like what he's going to be learning in his life, especially in 2023, is how to find peace. Okay, a middle path and patience. Okay, because at some point he could have been acting from the temperance in the reverse, somebody that did things to the extreme, aka some possible and you know, vice. I'm just saying, and um, there was some type of lack of balance, and it definitely was because in the other reading, he had they had the two of pentacles in the reverse. But yeah, if you haven't already, definitely check out that other reading, it'll all make sense sense on why Matthew's side is coming out like this, okay? But I do feel like for him, he he's done what other people do in when they talk about something that went wrong in a situation, they kind of eliminate the fault that they played in the role as well, okay? So you also have four of pentacles in the reverse, which has to do with greediness. It has to do with stinginess and possessiveness. Y'all, I'm telling you, I truly believe there was a lot of possessiveness. There was a lot of jealousy. And for him, he was like, I don't, hmm. that's why spirit is saying, what role did you play in this relationship? See, because a person can sometimes become possessive and jealous because you already gave them a reason to feel like something wasn't right. You gave the person a reason to make them feel like they can't trust you. Okay. And stereotypically, Aquarius is, what can happen is they can stereotypically be very cold. They can be very detached. And I feel that his coldness, his detachment started to, at some point, allegedly make Cheryl wonder if there had been somebody else. Because if you're not giving your attention and you're not giving your wand, because she did mention him allegedly having to take Viagra. If you're not getting it up for me, then who are you getting it up for? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
All right. And keep in mind, Matthew has an Aquarius sun, moon, and Sagittarius, Mercury and Pisces. But what sticks out to me like a sore thumb is that Venus and Aries. Aries people are very impulsive. They are stereotypically impulsive and patient. And um, the type that's like that fiery energy of sort of like rushing in, rushing out sort of energy there. And who's to say that there may have been some reason for her to believe that he may have been unfaithful, if not in the beginning, allegedly towards the end, okay? So, um, let's see why these messages are coming out, okay? If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Ah, there we go. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Chili and Matthew Lawrence. Give me the most important messages that need to come through. Okay, let's see what we got. Hmm. So y'all yeah, already know. If you're familiar with my channel, when the cold hard truth comes out, that means the cold hard truth on what you've been hearing here. Mm, spirit is telling somebody all money ain't good money. I kept getting money energy surrounding um, Matthew in the reading. Okay. Um, he may have issues with money because you have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse in the previous reading. But in this one, this All Money and Good Money card came out. I'm telling y'all. Like I mentioned before, there's another Three of Wands in the reverse of freaking again. Okay? Y'all, there's going to be some chaos surrounding this relationship. Okay? All right? And I feel like it's going to come at the hands of a King of Wands in the reverse along with King of Pentacles in the reverse energy. Okay? This is somebody that can be cold-hearted, cruel, and cutthroat. This can also indicate a player. Okay? I'm just saying. Chili, do you know who you... Girl, shut up. Look at all these kings in the... <gasps> Y'all, I'm freaking out. I've never seen this happen before. Okay, listen. Look at this. King of Cups in the reverse with the king, the, the, the queen of cups in the upright, okay? Keep in mind, queen of cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They are somebody that are comforting. They are somebody that's sweet, that's caring. Chili, I don't think you really, allegedly, you don't really know who you're dealing with. There could be three sides to this person. Love sex, love money, emotional, emotionally manipulative. Y'all, on top of that, this is Aquarius card, King of Swords. But look at the Aquarius card in the reverse. King of Swords in the reverse is a person that is very manipulative and cruel. I'm telling y'all, oh my goodness, and this may end up leading to heartbreak. Okay? Ten of Swords energy. Let me tell you something. I don't think... I, I feel like I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. She don't fully know what she's doing when I look at that 16, 16 on the clock. She doesn't really know what it is that she's dealing with when it comes to a situation. There are way too many angel numbers, way too many angel numbers in this reading. Oh my goodness. Where's my phone? Hold on a second. Let me look up 16, 16. Okay. Because something ain't clean in the buttermilk. Angel number 1616 16 can be a sign that you are near you are nearing your twin flame. It is time to prepare to meet this other side of yourself. While it can be very positive and life-changing moment, it's important to feel confident in your own inner self before meeting this person. It's here. So let me tell you something about twin flames. I always tell people not to romanticize the twin flame because baby, they can teach you some lessons, some harsh lessons in life, okay? Um, about yourself, 
about how you choose relationships and everything. And I feel like for her, there are some lessons she's going to learn in regards to Matthew Lawrence and relationships. Okay. When it comes to Chili. And I like Chili. You know, I wanted her to be with Usher. But she may, I'm just saying, she may have the Holly Berry complex. Bad picker. Okay. Because she may not see it. Right now, things could be good. But there could be some... So that could be some hell down the line, okay? Look at that. Because like I said, a verbally abusive card came out. You also have here, make a decision and stick with it. Somebody is on the fence. I told you somebody is on the fence because they don't really know if this is what they want, okay? I'm telling you. And when you don't make a decision about what it is that you want, then you're going to run straight into a tower moment, okay? Tower moments are painful. They hurt it is, it's, it's breathtaking, okay, when the situation goes through. But after tower moment comes healing, okay? You also have any time, any place. She may end up finding out that he's allegedly feeding her false hope. You have payback family and friends. Look at that, stressful. The situation may end up becoming stressful. Everything you touch turns to gold. Keep in mind the... Pentacles is on Chili's side. You have the seven of Pentacles here, okay? That's hard work and perseverance, and it'll pay off financially, okay? You also have invest in 401k. You have I am so ashamed. Yeah. It's about to go down. You also have you can have me. Stop teasing me. Still entertaining my ex. Wow. You also have temporary job and spa day. Okay. Somebody, when I get the spa day, this card usually indicates that somebody needs to do some self-care. Well, they may put a lot into other people, but they need to be putting that energy into themselves. Okay. So I'm going to put these to the side because I do have some more intuitive messages to go through. All right, you have here, look at that, Eight of Swords energy. That is Eight of Swords. When you are in a mental prison, that is because you're trapped by all of the thoughts, okay, of the things that you've done, allegedly, in a situation. Allegedly, this is how he's feeling. You also have, <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all read that, okay? I'm not surprised by this because both of them are very athletic. They like to dance. They like to work out. So I'm sure these two have a lot of fun, especially with their moons. Her moon is in Aries. His moon is in Sagittarius, child. It was so hot early in here when I was trying to get ready for this reading. So I don't even want to know what goes down. <laughs> Look at that, baby. They can write a book about it. But also, somebody may end up allegedly writing a tell-all book about this situation. Mm. All money ain't good money. Shut the freaking door, Cheryl. Y'all, I wish I could have a conversation with Cheryl Brooke. Because look at this. Remember when we talked about the Viagra situation? He got one minute, man. I'm about to get up from this chair and take off running. Uh-huh. In a period of separation, it's itching. I'm telling you, somebody got some money coming. I still feel like it's chilly. Look at that. Gemini. Still entertaining my ex. I'm just saying... You cannot make this up. Didn't I say a lot of angel numbers been coming through? Spirit is telling Chili, you need to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and get out of the fantasy world that you may be in about this person. How you get them is how you lose them. Okay? Look at that. Made peace with my past. Chili is an older woman. So who is this younger woman? Who is about to get hot? Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. Give me some more messages that need to come through at this time, please. For Chili and Matthew. Give me some more messages that need to come through. Look at that. For Chili and Matthew. 
Bottom of the deck, you have physically choosing them, but emotionally choosing you. You have sexual punishment. You've been acting up, okay? So somebody, if they haven't already, they may do this thing of like, oh, okay, so I don't trust you, so therefore you can't have sex with me right now. Okay, but somebody don't care because they still going to get it from somebody regardless because they're bad at love and good at screwing. Okay, reading old text messages. Somebody may find something in the other person's phone and then you have coming back to you because it's real. And you also have, yeah, I keep getting money issues every time when it comes to Matthew Lawrence. Matthew, you out here allegedly using women for money. Hmm. Ooh, child. It's about to get ugly. It's about to get real ugly. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, Chili. Because sometimes a wife is not, you know, bitter. Look at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes the wife ain't bitter. Sometimes she's just telling you what's really going on. Bottom of the deck, you have white magic. Okay, somebody could be doing some white magic. So let's go ahead and take a look at some future messages for Chili and Matthew. This ain't looking good at all. Oh, Lord, they got me exhausted. Exhausted. All right, you guys, give me some future messages moving forward for Chili and Matthew. You got to ask that you give me some future messages moving forward, please, for Chili and Matthew. There's that temperance card again. Finding balance. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Bottom of the deck is a star card here. I told you, after the tower moment comes healing. All right? And then you also have the temperance card. Healing and finding balance or finding meaning in your life, either with each other or separately. Okay? So over here on Chili's side, you got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You have the Seven of wands in the upright, you have the page of pentacles in a reverse, and you also have the nine of cups in a reverse. Chili needs to work on her self-worth. Okay? Because she's gonna she may experience some type of an emotional loss or some type of emptiness or because of feeling this emotional loss and emptiness, she may have attracted this type of energy into her life because when we're not fully healed, we don't recognize what happens. And sometimes when certain people come into our life that are not meant for us, they take away from our financial blessings. Keep in mind, there was abundance there. And at one point, her card was the seven of pentacles. Now the eight of pentacles is in the reverse. That means a person that feels no passion, uninspired to kind of like do anything at the moment or to try to be on a relationship okay and she may end up getting to a point after allegedly finding something out that she may end up giving up on the connection okay but she's gonna persevere okay but she may try to maintain control i feel like for her when she feels hurt or you know she starts to guard herself like don't come to me don't bother me stay away from me because he's coming up now as the page of pentacles in the reverse the type of person that is greedy that is lazy and lacks commitment I'm just saying, and this is going to, unfortunately, on Chili's end, bring her some type of emotional sadness, okay? Because Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is lacking true joy and feeling dissatisfied with a situation or a person. Over here on his side, y'all cannot make this up. Baby, when I tell you this, man has a hard time with his wands, okay? And it could be allegedly due to his actions. His actions, because keep in mind, Seven of Swords is you. Okay, seven of swords in the reverse is you. Okay, so he may need to come clean about something. All right, because seven of swords in the reverse is about deceiving yourself, but also coming clean. All right, because ace of wands in the reverse is here. Lack of energy, lack of passion, boredom. He gets bored easily. That Venus in Aries gets bored easily, allegedly, and this is what causes tower moments or will cause a tower moment in his life, okay? You also have the end to a relationship, lover's card in the reverse. Now, listen, he may end a situation with an alleged Gemini, and then they get in balance, and this relationship ends up working moving forward. But first, he has to let something go in order for his luck to turn around. Woo! 
Yeah, it is hot. This is messy. I hope y'all still with me. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Let me get some final cards to close off this reading. Jeez, that got me burning up. Man, give me some final cards to close off this reading for Chili and Matthew. Dear God, I ask that you give me the final messages to close off this reading, please. For I told y'all, that's why it's so hot in here. Who they chemistry off the charts? Some final messages to close off this reading. Her Mars and Sagittarius, Moon and Aries, along with his Moon and Sagittarius. Boy, boy, boy. If they walls could talk. <laughs> But I don't feel like it lasts long. It's like, dang, we're all passionate and we're all in. And I don't know. Then after that, we might have to use a little blue pill. I'm just saying. Final message is to close off this reading for Chili and Matthew. I told y'all, that's going to be a second chance after something that may come out. Okay. Give me some final messages to close off this reading for Chili and Matthew, Chili, and Matthew. All right. Yeah. Spirit is telling Chili she needs to make healthier life choices. All right. She's going to be deeply hurt, saddened. We did have the separation card that came out. Um, there could be a possible breakup and some grieving and mourning going on in the future. But like I said, insane chemistry between the two of them. And then relationship could end up evolving after this to the next phase or somebody can go through a growth period, okay? And again, there is the second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance, okay? And it could end up leading to marriage for the both of them, all right? This relationship um, is moving toward a sacred union, but there is some type of regret. I'm telling you, someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Wow. Final cards for them, Okay. Calling in your soulmate, new love, and chemistry. If this is not together, this is separate. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading or if you would like to take some tarot courses, all the information on that is down below in the description box posted across the screen and pinned in the comments. Bye.